Hello and good morning. Today we're gonna to be walking around the Disney's Conservation right here in Kissimmee. It's only 20 minutes away and a lot of people don't even know this exists. So we're gonna go in, see if you have to pay for it, and see if it's like a free experience. The one free thing that you might get at Disney. Let's go check it out. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. You do not have to pay to come here. The one free thing at Disney. Now this isn't actually on Disney property. It's only about 25 to 30 minutes away from the Walt Disney World Company. So if you do want to go out for a little drive adventure and just see nature, come out to the Disney Preserve. It looks like at one point they did have charging points here for electric vehicles or they're installing it. But look, does this building remind you of anything at Walt Disney World? I can't believe this exists right here in the heart of Kissimmee, not too far away from anything. They have a whole bunch of different signs here talking about the wildlife and the exhibit itself. Here's some information about the visitor center, explore the trails and connect with nature. They're open from 9 a.m. until 4.30. It says, please sign in at the welcome center, free admission. I'm still blown away that Disney is not charging for this. This is so nice. I am glad that I made this trip out here to come and check this out because I've seen it online a few times, but never have actually made the track out here. Founded in 1951, the Nature Conservation is a privately nonprofit membership organization supported by individuals who share a goal of preserving plants, animals, and nature's communities by protecting the lands and waters they need to survive. If you do come here, you can actually rent convention space right here on the left-hand side. Then they do have restrooms. So in case if you're about to head out on that open trail, you can stop, use the restroom, and look at this beautiful mural. It is so peaceful here. And to think, all the hustle and bustle, that's just right down the road, right at the entrance. It's crazy to think all the attractions and shopping isn't that far away. Just to show you how close we are to civilization, if I zoom in just a little bit, you can see homes way off in the distance. But to think all of this land that you can go walk around and not hear anybody else is really peaceful. All right, we're headed to our first trail, but before I actually continue down the pathway that goes right around this water, I wanted to sit here and just take in the scenery. I was just talking to one of the people that work here in the Welcome Center and they were telling me a little bit about the backstory. Now, Disney did purchase this land when they built Hollywood Studios. It was an agreement with Florida State that they did have to preserve a whole bunch of different land. So they purchased this. Then they partnered with the National Forestry. That is actually who took it over and maintains it to this day. She was also telling me that a lot of people don't even know this exists, especially being so close to all the theme parks, shopping. So this is a real hidden gem. Just to show you where we are, we're that star right there. There is Kissimmee, there's Orlando, and there's Lake Bonavista. That's where Disney World is. So as you can see, the distance is not that bad. If you're actually in Magic Kingdom, it'll probably take about 35 to 40 minutes to get to this star right here but it is really, really worth it. So to show you kind of what these trails look like, that's where you park right there. The white trail, that's where the restrooms are. And then there is this blue one that's right here. That is 0.75 miles, so it's not that bad either. Then you can do the red trail, which is 1.4. That's probably what I'm gonna be doing, especially to get to this picnic bench right up here, but it doesn't look that bad. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this yellow one right here, because that is 3.6 miles. That's gonna be a long one, especially on a warm day like this. I think it's already up in the 80s, 85s. But let's go, start heading on this blue trail. We'll make it all the way around. Then we'll come back and do the red trail because I wanna get to that picnic bench and look at Lake Russell. All right, let's start heading down the first trail. This one goes around 
like a little pond or a little swamp area depending on how you want to call it. So this one's going to be a very, very quick little hike. I am so glad they have all these billboards all over the place talking about what nature you actually might see on these trails. When I got here, I got to see a hawk. So that was pretty incredible. If you do come out here, make sure you bring water with you because it is really warm, even just on this little trail that I'm taking, especially at the Welcome Center, they recommended it. Here's the first rest stop you come to. And this is what we're walking around right now. It isn't that big. So this is gonna be pretty quick of a little walk, but I can't wait to start going on the bigger hikes. It is concrete all the way up to the first resting point. That's when it goes to gravel and dirt. So make sure you're wearing the appropriate shoes. All right, we finally came up to our first divider. This marker right over here, the Wilderness Trail, that is the blue marker. That one's just a little bit longer than what we're going to go on right now. I will come back to the Wilderness Trail, but we are going to continue on this trail right here. This is so incredible. Look at this bridge. It actually looks like Boy Scouts designed it or made it. Wow. Eagle Scouts project. Look at that. That is really cool. The way that I knew it says all the information right there. Troop 800, June 2021. All right, time for a water break and just to enjoy that awesome breeze and just nature. ground starts to get wet as you're following the trail. That's why I'm warning you on what shoes to wear when you come here. Anytime I see a bench on this trail, I'm going to sit down. That way I can relax a little and just enjoy the view. We've already completed the first trail, the white trail. It only takes about 10 minutes to walk around that whole thing. Now we're going to continue over to the blue trail. All right, before I actually go on the blue trail, I wanted to stop at the Welcome Center and see if they had water, like where you could refill your water bottle, because I'm already going through half of it so far. Yes, there it is, right next to the restrooms. You can refill your water bottle right here. All right, let's do this. I am so glad they have that water refill station. Now, if you do get a little overheated on that first trail, just go into the restrooms. The fans are incredible, and wow, do they feel good, especially on a really warm day like this. But wait, I wanna go down this trail. Just kidding, we don't wanna go down that one. It just goes to maintenance. We are back at the divider. The white trail is on the right, and the blue trail is on the left. We're gonna fall the Wilderness Trail now. Now, it doesn't look that warm here today, but it's the humidity and the Sahara Desert sandstorm that's right above Florida. So it is pretty toasty. This probably has to be one of the best trails that's marked. A lot of trails in Florida, they are marked on the trees, but not like the signs. Now I was just reading, if you come out here to do all three trails, give yourself about three hours. So I'm definitely not gonna be doing that last trail, but I do plan to come on back in the future to actually film the very last trail, but I'm going to be doing it with my mom. So make sure you're staying tuned to the channel because there's going to be a lot more content coming out in the near future, even some spooky or haunted locations. All right, looks like we're coming up to the divider now of the red path and the blue path. I am not going to go to Lake Russell. I'm going to save that for another episode. So make sure you're staying tuned because I will be coming back. And we're coming back up to where the white trail and the blue trail combine at the very end. So I'm almost back to where the Welcome Center is. Well, we've made it all the way back 
to these beautiful rocking chairs and looking at the scenic view. It took me about two hours roughly for everything, checking out the visitor center, walking around, stopping and getting water, and stopping at my little break areas. That blue trail is probably only about 20 to 30 minute walk, so it's not that bad. Now I will be coming back in the future to do the red trail, and that's gonna be the longest one, but I plan to come and do that with my family, my mom, maybe my dad, just depending on if he wants to come and do it with us. But you have to make sure you stay tuned to the channel to see if we're going to do that. Now, if you did like today's adventure, checking out the secret Disney spot, make sure you like the video and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification button so you get notified every time I come out of the future video. Now I'm going to go and relax and try to catch up on just taking some relaxation time. I will see you in the next episode. Have a great day, week, and year.